the most two difficult objectives you will have are objective 9 and objective 10. But it is important to see that these two objectives do have something in common, and that is all of your objective 9 problems involve IV flow and initiating that flow or verifying the rate of that flow. The majority of the time you will find a problem like I have written here, which is an order for 6 micrograms per kilogram per minute for an 80 kilogram patient. IV bag contains 400 milligrams in 250 milliliters. If this is infusing using 15 drop per milliliter tubing, what is a milliliter an hour flow rate to infuse this? So according to this in the toolbox, we have the order, the weight of the patient, the IV bag, the tubing, and the question. So we've pulled all the pieces out of the wording to figure out how to put this together. In order to establish the flow, I basically need to know how to take the amount of med ordered for this patient out of this IV bag by volume in order to give the proper dose. So to do this, I have to make everything look alike. I have a microgram order, but a milligram supply. I need to make it patient specific by the weight and I'm going to flow it by hours, so I need to consider that in the way it is ordered. So my first step, whenever I have an order that looks different than my supply and the way it needs to be given, will be to start with doing a step I call calculating the dose. To calculate the dose, I'm going to take the 6 micrograms and multiply this by the kilogram weight. So once I do that, that's 480 micrograms per, and it's still per minute because we haven't done anything to address time, only the weight. So the next step is I'm going to take this amount and I'm going to multiply that by 60 minutes to figure out my hour rate. This is 28,800. It's still micrograms, but now it's per hour. The final step in making my order look like the IV bag it needs to come out of is to convert micrograms to milligrams by moving my decimal one, two, three places. So this results in 28.8 .8 milligrams per hour as what I need for my IV bag. In essence, I've used my order, my weight, and now for my second formal step, I'm going to take my IV bag, which is 400 milligrams in 250 milliliters, and I have decided I need 28.8 milligrams per hour out of this bag and drug. So the question is how many, and I'm filling in blanks, milliliters per hour will give me this. So I complete this by cross multiplying and then dividing and x equals 18. A glance up to see that x was representative of milliliters per hour. So I label so that I don't make a mistake. I check my label with the question I was after and I see that I'm actually done and that I did not need my tubing. My tubing was extra information that I did not need to complete this question.